Hey everybody, good morning. It's Santa Claus in Dingaland. So what's happening today? Uh, we got a few things going on. Uh, I'll show you in a second. And answer a couple questions, comments uh, that was left yesterday. Uh, but uh, tomorrow we'll go to Cabana Tuan. And... Uh, I got to get the uh, payment, the money, uh, for the right of way, and uh, kids are allowed out now, so it'll be James's first trip to a mall, we'll probably go to SM, hang out, as long as they let us all in, um, last time we were there we did see kids in Walter Mart, so I think everything's okay now, um, let's hope it stays that way. And Jimmy's making some ice. Uh, we've been selling a lot of ice on the weekends. We pretty much sell out, actually. <clears throat> but we'll never get rich off of it. It's only five pesos uh, for a block. A small tube. They make it in tubes here, I think I showed you before. Uh, so it's just basically a service. It's not really to get rich or nothing. But it does pay for our uh, drinking water. Any ice we sell pays for the drinking water. So that's good. Because we drink a lot of water. We use a lot of uh, filtered water. Um, let's see what else. So my mom left a comment. She doesn't comment that often. But uh, she said we should go out this way. That way we won't have to break the wall. Uh... We could try to do that, but really there's, but first we have to fill this in, which is no big deal. We'll have it filled in probably really soon because uh, we're going to put all this cement that we're tearing down in here. So it'll probably fill up quick actually. But uh, the problem is over here also, it's really, really low. That'll all have to be filled in if I wanted to do that. Maybe uh, if you have a dump truck full of dirt. We could fill it in, but it's uh, right now it's not feasible, it's not viable. Uh, if you see on the other side of here, it's a big, it's a big ditch. So yeah, we got to fill this in also, really. Uh, also, it's not in a good position for my truck to come through. The truck's way over here. And all this stuff's blocking it. So really it has to be moved over. So this whole entire wall doesn't have to be taken down. Not the entire wall. Only like half of it. And that's why I said I had to move the banana trees. Because that's the way the truck will come. Not through the coconut trees. There's really not enough room. Uh, I could maybe do it. But it would be a bigger problem. Uh, it's better to just go this way. But maybe we'll fill this in also. It's really, really low. Goes all the way down to the water. We'll know more when we clear. It's just too many, too many weeds right now to really judge. But we'll know more when we clear what we can do and what we can't do. Quiet! These dogs are a real pain in the neck, let me tell you. Uh, sometimes I wish we never brought them. They bark at every dog if they see. Especially Shadow. Anyway, uh, the wall will, will be uh, only till that second post. Not this post, but the post by the ladder there. That's how much wall. So you have, still have two and a half sections that will be up. That's plenty. Just this whole part will be taken down. And then we could always rebuild some of it later. But that's the story there. You really can't uh, avoid breaking down some of the wall. And then I had a couple comments about cutting down the banana trees. People said don't cut them down. Just transplant them. But you know that's extra work. We have enough work ahead of us anyway. And I don't know where I'd want them transplanted. Uh... It's an idea. It's possible. Maybe we'll do it. 
but it's probably not easy they're pretty big um maybe maybe we can get some money for them maybe somebody wants to buy them i don't know but uh i don't really care i don't like the bananas that come on them anyway i like the big bananas i don't like these small ones but you can see the the ones over here already have let me show you I'm in the dark here I'm in the sun maybe you can't see it here can you see it's already got bananas I don't know if you can see it on my camera So yeah, some of these already do have bananas or have the little heart like this. See that red? That red is where the heart comes from. Then the banana comes out on top. So they are mature. Excuse me. They are mature trees. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I can't say one way or the other. Uh, if somebody wants to dig them up, maybe we'll transplant them somewhere. But I don't know where. And then we get the guys working. They needed, they needed a job. They need money. So we told them just to go ahead and start taking down this broken stuff. It's already broken anyway. And eventually we're going to have to rebuild it. So, uh... I said you guys can work on that I'll give you uh, each 500 a day that's really uh, top pay here and uh, start working on it and put all the broken cement into that hole I showed you so they got two guys uh, brothers working on it and it's gonna take them a while <laughs> probably a few days the mommy and uh, the kids just want to get some more vegetables to make for lunch because we have to feed the workers. That's part of the deal here. You always have to feed the workers. And Jimmy's making some more ice. So we have it for Saturday. Saturday's the busy day. Sunday also. And uh, that way we'll have enough stock. That's what we do. Make ice all week for a weekend. Um, but the freezer is not fast. It takes uh, two, three days to, to freeze solid. So we, that's why we start early. We start uh, right away Monday. Um, nothing else. That's really it, everybody. That catches you up on everything. That answers some questions. So it's just one day at a time. And tomorrow uh, I'll try to show you some stuff in Cabana Tuan, especially at SM, if they let me film. Because uh, I'd like to take a video of the kids playing, because like I said, James is first time at the mall. So we'll see what happens. Okay, wish me luck. God bless everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Santa Claus over and out.